we're going to cover mathematical optimization with MATLAB. In particular, we're going to use this function fmincon to solve a nonlinear optimization problem. Now, here, if you go to the documentation for fmincon, you're going to feel a little bit overwhelmed by all the options. So we're going to just solve a minimal problem here. And if you go to apmonitor.com, you can select take a course. This is, material is listed under the intro to programming. And if you go down on the right, you're going to go down to MATLAB and then just select optimization there. Now this shows the problem that we're going to solve. It just has one inequality constraint, one equality constraint, some bounds on the variables, just four different variables there. Okay, the first way that we can solve this is with the APM MATLAB. There's a video there if you want to go look at that. This one's the MATLAB FMINCON tutorial. And it shows how to set it up and solve it with the example source code. If you just select the get code on the right, you can go and download that example. So if you just want to skip to that and go grab the code, you can do that. But we're going to work through it in just a little bit more detail and um, explain it as we go through. So here's the function right here. Uh, you have a number of things that you want to input to this function. There's your objective function right there, the fun. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So just as I talk about this, you're going to minimize we always minimize the objective function. You can change that option to maximize, or you can just take a maximization, multiply it by negative one, it becomes minimization. Okay, you want to give it the initial guesses as well. Now, this specific problem, those initial guesses are just one, five, five, and one. Those are four values. Okay, we also have our A and B right there. Those kind of go together. Those are our uh, inequality constraints right there for the linear inequality constraints. So A and B are going to be matrices or vectors. And then also A, E, Q, and B, E, Q. Those are our equality constraints. Okay, again, those are linear equality and linear inequality constraints. The next one that we go to is our lower and upper bound. There you can see those, um, just lower and upper bound on X. And then we also have our nonlinear constraints. So we're going to do something with these nonlinear constraints where we have some equality. There's our equality constraint right there. And then we also have our inequality constraint right here. This little ST, that just means subject to. So it's subject to those constraints. We also have our bounds right there and our initial guesses right there. So we're going to go ahead and build this in MATLAB. Um, so let's go ahead and just put this over in the corner. And we'll go ahead and get started with this. Um, Okay, so I'll put this right here, make this just a little bit smaller. There we go, and move it out of the way. All right, so there's our, um, there it is right there. We've got, um, what we want to do now is go ahead and just open up MATLAB. Make sure you're in the right directory. So I'm just going to uh, shift over to the desktop. I'll just put everything on the desktop. And uh, the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and create a new script. So we need to get a new script. Okay, and do our nonlinear constraints first of all. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a function. And I'm gonna do C and C quality. And I'm just gonna call this NLCon and make that a function of X. Okay, my very first one is gonna be my 25. And then I have to put everything on one side okay of this uh, equation just so I can say that it's less than or equal to zero okay so if you remember this form right here we have to do c of x is less than or equal to zero I need to do also the x4 value there and so if I put that um, this inequality constraint if I move everything over down the right hand side then I have 25 minus the product of all the values is less than or equal to zero Okay, my quality constraint as well. I'm going to do this in a kind of a short way with um, you know, operating element-wise with this uh, dot here, and then minus 40. So it doesn't matter if I do 40 minus that sum or sum minus that 40. Equality constraints, you can put it on either side of the equation. Okay, and then I go ahead and save this. It's going to suggest to save it as nlcon.m. Go ahead and click Save, and then you can close that. Okay, let's just go ahead and test this. Um, my x naught, let's say I have one, five, five, and one. 
those are my initial values for x and then I just want to test my uh, C and my C equality constraints. So let's just see the residuals of those, how much they're not satisfied. Okay, so NL con of X naught. And then it's going to return zero for the very first one. So that one is exactly equal. So one times five times five times one, that equals 25. And that is greater than or equal to 25. Now in uh, this optimization, and when you're using continuous variables, greater than or equal to or greater than their equivalent. Um, once you get into binary or integer variables, then greater than or equal to or greater than matters. But in this case, those are equivalent. So those are um, satisfied there. Okay, so we've got our nonlinear constraint, first of all. Um, now let's go ahead and just make a new script. Okay, so one more new script. Now this one's going to be our, uh, we're going to put everything else for solving this. Um, I'm going to create my objective as just an inline function, an anonymous function. Um, and that one's going to be x1 times x4 um, times the quantity x1. Um, okay. And then plus x2 plus x3. Okay, plus x3. Okay, and now we have our objective function. And let's go ahead and save this as our, um, you know, this is our main script that we're going to run. Um, and I've just put that on my desktop. Okay. And if we want to run this and just test the objective function, we can, um, you know, just do objective as a function of x naught. And we'll do that. Um, we'll return that later. Okay. But let's go ahead and go on with our just our initial guess like we had before, 1, 5, 5, and 1. Okay, there's our initial guess. And then after that, we're going to need to define our lower bounds. Our lower bounds are going to be 1 for all of our values. So I'm just going to do 1's, okay, a vector of length 4. And that's going to be um, times uh, 1. Okay, so I've got all my ones there, and then upper bound is going to be five uh, times ones. All right, and then um, let's go ahead and just display our initial objective. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put the objective there too. Initial objective, and then if you add in here, we're going to do num to string and then uh, do our objective as a function of x naught. Okay, so there's our initial objective. And let's go ahead and just uh, run this. Okay, and then you can see the initial objective is 16. Okay, so, um, but our equality constraints weren't satisfied, so it might get worse than this. Okay, let's go, on, go ahead and go on. Um, I just need to find my A value. Now this was from, um, you know, I just have to put in uh, A, B, A quality, B quality. And those are just gonna be empty, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is, is just gonna put in an empty array, okay? A, B, empty, A quality is going to be empty as well and b equality empty as well so if you have linear equations you can put those in there but for this case we don't have any linear equations okay let's go on to our we have lower and upper bounds i'll go ahead and put those in the order in which you have to um, display them define them okay and um, we don't have to define them in any order but just the way they appear in the fmincon function. And then we also need to uh, give a function handle. Okay, you can you can name this whatever you want, but I'm just gonna name this nlcon equals the at sign, nlcon. And there we have all of our options that we need. Now we can use um, fmincon to solve this. So we have our objective, we have x naught, and we have A and B, 
and A quality and B quality and our lower bound, upper bound, and our non-linear constraint. Okay, now if you didn't want to make that a, a anonymous function, you could have also just done in quotes, NL con, that also works. But I'm gonna do it um, in this, this way right here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and display X. Okay, so that's what you need to do to solve this. Let's go ahead and see if it'll solve. There's our answer, all of our x values. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and test uh, what our final objective is as well. So either you can do, um, you know, create another output, or uh, you can also just say final objective, plug that back in. And let's go ahead and plug in x instead of x naught, and then it will show you your final objective as well. Now you see it got worse than 16, but in this case, um, let's go ahead and check and see if it satisfied our constraints. Okay, and if you want to just do that, you can do a c, c quality equals nl con as a function of x, and um, run that one more time. Okay, so you can see that um, the inequality, it's less than zero. You can see it's negative three times uh, e to the uh, 10 to the minus sixth. Okay, and then you also have equality constraint that's nearly equal to zero, but in optimization, there are convergence tolerances that say, as long as you're within a certain amount of that constraint, then you're okay. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, the equality and inequality constraints are satisfied. Now you can also have other things that are uh, come back from f min con. You know, if you didn't want to have to evaluate that objective function, that final objective, you can also say that x um, and then fl and exit flag and I'll do an output there. You can also get your Lagrange multipliers, lambda and your gradients and your hessians if you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that one more time. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff here. Let's look at, for example, our, um, okay, our F val. There you had the, the objective that's reported as optimal. You also have um, you know, some other things in there as well. You have the exit flag. Okay, that uh, means success. And then you also have your output. There you can see uh, output dot iterations. Okay, you can just display that if you want. You have function count, you have constraint violation, step size, all these other uh, algorithm options and and things that were used for solving the problem. Okay, so it found a local min minima. Um, okay, and then uh, lambda. Let's go ahead and print lambda. These are our Lagrange multipliers. It comes back as a structure, so you have to. Uh, print the one that you want, okay, and um, let's say we want our inequality equation for our nonlinear, okay, there it is right there, okay, so we had a, uh, we had our equality nonlinear constraint Lagrange multiplier, now I can't play risk, um, okay, and uh, let's uh, Let's, okay, so this is our optimization problem right here. We've solved it with f min con, and um, okay, that's it. Uh, again, if you want to download the uh, solution, just come here to the CHE 263 website. There's more course material uh, content there under the optimization. There's other topics as well. Uh, you know, the, um, just come down here and grab the source code right there.